All right, dudes, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the platonic solids inside the flower of life. If you don't know what the platonic solids are, basically, there's five of them, and they're the only shapes that we know of, where the faces are all identical sizes and shapes to each other. If you wanna watch it in real time, I got a video showing just that on my channel. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off by drawing a flower of life with 19 circles. So the first thing to do is to connect these two intersections on the outside of the flower of life and then work your way around doing exactly the same thing until you've got a hexagon which is a 2D shape obviously to make it 3D all we got to do is connect the corners to the center point and then you've got a cube, which is our first platonic solid. All right, next is the tetrahedron. So I'm gonna draw another flower of life, same amount of circles, 19. And I'm gonna connect three of the outer intersections to make an equilateral triangle. and then connect these corners to the center. And there's your tetrahedron. All right, next, the octahedron. Again, flower of life, 19 circles. This time we're gonna draw the hexagon exactly the same way we did before. And then we're going to draw the triangle the exact same way that we did before. And that's it. The hexagon and the triangle combined give you the octahedron. It's pretty cool. Now, my icosahedron. Again, flower of life with 19 circles. Again, draw the hexagon and the triangle. But now inside the triangle, you're gonna draw another triangle the other way around using the center of each line. 
So if you connect the center points of each line to each other, it makes a triangle. And then all you gotta do is connect the corners and you've got your icosahedron. All right, and the last one is the dodecahedron. This one's a bit more complicated. You're gonna do the flower life again the same way, but instead of having 19 circles, it's gonna have 61 circles. So this is the same as all the other flower lives we did. And if you go around twice more, two more rows, you've got 61 circles. Now, make a triangle using the outer intersections. Exactly the same way you did with the smaller triangle, just on a bigger scale. And then do the same thing, but the opposite way around, so you've got an upside down triangle. And now you've got a hexagram, which is also known as the Star of David. Now if you connect the tips of the star to the center of the lines of the star, that'll give us all the construction lines we need to create a shape. And we just have to do that all the way around. These lines here will be the edges of the shape. I'm gonna freehand these so you can see it a bit better. work your way around and then close the gaps Okay, now we're going to use this line here to draw one edge of the shape. And follow it down. And then do the same thing on the other side, right opposite. And then again, the same thing on the top. And then join these points to the center. And you've got your dodecahedron. And that's all five platonic solids. 
hope you found this useful if you did please consider supporting the channel through patreon you'll get some bonus goodies when you do and don't forget to like and subscribe cheers ta -ra.